the, uh, to the government and government publishing. So what is the objective of releasing the economic survey? Economic survey gives an overall understanding, overall what you can say, the reports that how the economy has performed in last year. Because normally what happens, the government budget which is released, uh, with government budget which is what you can say, right, placed in front of the parliament every year, that is for the upcoming year. Like upcoming year means what? The government budget is an estimation of the coming years. Uh, it is an estimation, it is a futuristic. How many targets have been achieved by the government in previous year that is reflected in the economic side? Like, for example, in 2019 20 budget, which was for last year, which budget has been achieved reflection economic survey of India. Like, for example, this year, the government budget today, but the budget was presented to the parliament. Now, this budget is actually a what you can say it is a forecasting, it's a kind of what you can say estimation. So, maybe next year. When the government will present the budget, but before one day, the upcoming years, how many targets in the previous budget was achieved, that is reflected in the economic survey. And that is why economic survey is a very, very important document, which gives the actual status or actual, what you can say, the situation and actual condition of the government fiscal, what you can say, the part. Okay. Now, one important, what you can say, the highlight of the economic survey, which was uh, released yesterday, is that he, it agrees that the economic slowdown in the country is because of the cyclical reason right last uh, week i have discussed about this okay, there are two what you can say the reasons for the slowdown of the economy few experts believe that it is because of the structural problem and few experts believe that it is because of the cyclical problem but our economic survey accepts it says that the economic slowdown of the country in the previous year was because of the cyclical problem right so anyone knows what is cyclical slowdown? Uh, last time I have discussed this with you that cyclical slowdown means what? Anyone remember what is cyclical slowdown or what is cyclical, what is the problem of the economic slowdown? Can you hear me? Can, can everybody hear me? Yeah. So can anyone tell me what is the meaning of cyclical slowdown? Because the economic survey agrees that the economic slowdown of the country is because of the cyclical problem. So, ties, sir. Yeah. Anyone? The cyclical slowdown is basically part of the economic cycle, having its own peaks and troughs. So the economy will actually move through different cycles, having downtrends and uptrends. What are the reason? Like, what are what is the reason for this cyclical slowdown? Sir, low demand uh, is low, responsible for low, low production. For yeah, low demand for what? market forces. Yeah. The low demand for like uh, goods and even for services also can ultimately lead to is, is, low is production it, uh, or right. You are right, Shubhidi. Uh, is it because of the low demand for like crude oil or diesel or petrol or any any particular yeah, any particular uh, goods any particular services consumption in uh, rural yeah. economy uh, consumption uh, slowdown in rural economy very good. See, if you see the last one year's economic slowdown has been attributed to the low consumption of FMCG goods. You know what are FMCG goods? FMCG goods means fast moving consumer goods. Uh, because of this economic slowdown has started, I said, what's the level of time? Even our, what you can say, the economic survey also agree. So if you want to, what we can say, boost the economic growth, our economic survey suggests that we should, what we can say, uh, we should try to increase the consumption demand. We should increase the consumption for the FMCG goods. And we should give the economic advices, suggestions in the economic survey. This is the one important highlight of the economic survey that it agrees that the economic slowdown is because of what we can say, the cyclical reason. The survey believes the economic slowdown is to be cyclical while acknowledging that the fiscal deficit in the current year will exceed the estimate. And now there is one more topic that is called the fiscal deficit. Can anybody tell me what is fiscal deficit? Because the economic survey also agrees that the upcoming year ka jo fiscal uh, jo deficit hai, wo badne wala hai. A fiscal deficit matlab kya? What is fiscal deficit? Sir, it's like debt which we take. Which we means government takes, right? Yes. So the difference between the export and the import, like 
we we get more imports no, uh, from yeah. other. It's a short. It's a shortfall in government's income compared with its spending. Yes, it is shortfall in the government's. Uh, we can say the expenditure and government. Uh, expenditure receipts minus revenue receipts. Okay. Okay. Check it. So it can be called loss, loss, loss of government. Loss of government. No, government is not in loss. loss. Government कभी loss of profit के लिए काम नहीं करता है. एक चीज़ ध्यान में रखिए. If you to be precise, that what is fiscal deficit means what? Like for example, last time also I have discussed this with you. Like for example, suppose government is planning to spend hundred rupees, and government has estimation that they are going to receive eighty rupees. So government revenue is eighty rupees, and government expenditure is hundred rupees. So the remaining twenty rupees, the government what we can say balances by borrowing the money. Right? They borrow, but there are again two types of borrowing. As I told you last time, that there is internal borrowing and there is external borrowing. So external borrowing is not good for the economy. That I told you. When fiscal deficit is calculated, when the fiscal deficit is calculated, it basically gives us that what is our external debt. Fiscal deficit is not the total deficit. So budget deficit is अलग होता है. Or fiscal deficit is a lot of time. When you calculate the fiscal deficit, you understand what is country's external debt, not it, not internal debt. Fiscal deficit actually gives us the situation of the external debt. So, is all the external debt bending the chances? Here, as Ekman has already said, because last year the revenue collection was reduced, the overall gross revenue collection was reduced. Why reduced? There are very various reasons behind it. One is the GST collection reduce हो गया था. Then since economic slowdown हुआ है, GDP growth कम हुआ है. जब GDP growth कम होता है, whenever there is a less production of goods and services, so obviously the tax collection is also less because tax collection is on the basis of production. Because production tax or GST tax or maybe what you can say income tax, it is on the basis of growth. Right? अगर लोगों का income बढ़ेगा, तभी income tax ज़्यादा आएगा. लोगों ने ज़्यादा goods and services produce किए, तभी government को ज़्यादा tax आएगा. So last year there was what you can say the decline in the government revenue collection, but government can't reduce its expenditure because plant expenditure जो होता है वो पहले से पांच साल के लिए plan किया होता है जैसे कि government ने 2024 तक 2025 तक 2022 तक कुछ target रखे हुए हैं कि like till 2022 we will like electrify this much villages till 2022 we will produce this much employment till 2022 we will produce this much what you can say Uh, we will build this much buildings, this much roads. So government has already planned it. So government can't stop this expenditure, and this expenditure is called as capital expenditure. Now one of the important advice which is given by the government is that instead of stopping capital, like reducing the capital uh, expenditure, the government should try to rationalize the subsidies. Right? Subsidies means what? What is it? Subsidies are non-plant expenditure. So what economic survey has advised the government is that instead of reducing the capital expenditure, we should rationalize the subsidies. So Indian Express का एक जो headline है आज का अगर आप Indian Express देखोगे उसमें एक word लिखा हुआ है कि Subramanian recommends rationalization of subsidies to create the fiscal headroom. Fiscal headroom का मतलब क्या होता है कि government को खर्चा तो करना है but government को borrow करके करना पड़ेगा अब जब government borrow करके जब खर्चा करेगा So, if government borrows the money and spend it on subsidies, then it will again create problem for the economy. Like, अगर कर्जा लेके अगर आप subsidy में खर्चा कर रहे हो या कर्जा लेके अगर आप gambling कर रहे हो तो obviously it is wrong. Like, so when you borrow the money and in fact when we borrow externally, we should use that money for capital creation. All of you know what is capital expenditure? Capital expenditure like expenditure on asset creation, like capital expenditure on Infrastructure, capital expenditure on energy, expenditure on health sector, expenditure on education sector, expenditure on what you can say, uh, expenditure on uh, making digital India, expenditure on internet service provision, increasing the internet services in the rural area, or building rural roads. If government spends such money, it will create assets, and government shall try to spend money or consider on such type of capital expenditure. That is what is the recommendation given by the Economic Survey this time. Okay. अब इससे क्या होगा एज ए टोल टू लास्ट टाइम गवर्नमेंट स्पेंड्स मनी देन द मनी विल गो टू द हैंड्स ऑफ द पीपल बिकॉज व्हेन व्हेन एवर द गवर्नमेंट स्पेंड्स मनी इट विल अल्टीमेटली गो टू द पीपल एंड पीपल विल स्टार्ट स्पेंडिंग दैट मनी एंड व्हेन द स्पेंडिंग दैट मनी विल लीड टू व्हाट आई कैन से द इंक्रीज इन डिमांड एंड दैट इंक्रीज इन डिमांड विल स्लो विल व्हाट आई कैन से हेल्प इन टैकलिंग दैट साइक्लिकल स्लोडाउन प्रॉब्लम 
करेक्ट सर्वे अगेन लाइक अगर आप इंडियन बिजनेस का देखो तो इसमें और एक हेडलाइन दिया हुआ है दैट सर्वे कॉल्स फॉर द काउंटर साइक्लिकल पॉलिसी काउंटर साइक्लिकल पॉलिसी मींस व्हाट कि ये जो साइकिल है लाइक बिकॉज़ ऑफ द डिमांड स्लो डाउन प्रोडक्शन इज रिड्यूस्ड एंड सिंस प्रोडक्शन इज रिड्यूस्ड इनकम और व्हाट कैन से एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज रिड्यूस्ड एंड सिंस एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज रिड्यूस्ड अगेन द इनकम इज रिड्यूस्ड सो इट इज अ वीसीएस साइकिल ये एक साइकिल है अगर इस साइकिल को अगर हमको क्या करना है we to want to what again say break down this cycle we need to take some counter cyclical problems so the recommendation given by the economic survey is that higher spending by the government because private spending to come ho raha hai uh please mute uh, someone is there and disturbing the voice mahant kumar please uh, mute it. yeah thanks okay so counter cyclical policy matlab kya hota hai लोगों के पास पैसा आना जरूरी है वो पैसा आएगा कैसे वो पैसा आएगा बाय स्पेंडिंग बाय द गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज द प्राइवेट सेक्टर हैज स्टॉप्ड स्पेंडिंग हैज स्टॉप्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट इट हैज स्टॉप व्हाट यू कैन से क्रिएशन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज एंड दैट इज व्हाई द इनकम लेवल ऑफ द इनकम लेवल ऑफ द पीपल इज नॉट इंक्रीज ठीक है सो दिस इज द हाईलाइट ऑफ द दिस ईयर्स बजट वन मोर थिंग इफ आई रीड इट I am reading the uh, what you can say the paragraph which is given in the today's Indian Express. The survey expects the economy to rebound strongly and clock a growth rate of six to six point five percent. Because economic survey agreed that the economic growth rate has reduced. It is not as per the potential because India has a potential of growing at the rate of ten percent at the rate of eleven percent. India can easily go for the double digit what you can say the economic growth rate. but due to some reason the economic growth rate is not going to that particular level and that is why the government should take up counter cyclical problem to increase what you can say the government uh, to increase the economic growth of the country okay now one sir one question yes sir aapne bataya ki planned expenditure mein like government decides uh, the budget for the coming years like say for 5 mm -hmm. years or like this yeah. sir agar just in case uh, उस प्लान एक्सपेंडिचर में कैन द गवर्नमेंट मेक चेंजेस लाइक अगर उन्होंने कुछ कैपिटल किसी एक प्लान के लिए फिक्स कर दिया है लेकिन लेटर स्टेजेस में दे आर नॉट लाइक एबल टू मीट अप टू दैट कैपिटल फॉर दैट प्लान तो क्या उस कैपिटल में कटौती हो सकती है यस सी बजट जो होता है बजट में सी वी आर एन इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट एंड इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट हैज द राइट टू मेक अ बजट सो गवर्नमेंट कैन मेक द चेंजेस लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल सपोज अगर गवर्नमेंट को लगता है कि जो हमने फाइव ईयर प्लान किया था यानी अभी फाइव ईयर प्लान तो बंद अभी स्टॉप किया गया है नाउ द नीति आयोग इज मेकिंग अप व्हाट यू कैन से द स्ट्रेटजीज सपोज इफ गवर्नमेंट बिलीव्स दैट कि इस साल के लिए वी विल स्टॉप ऑन स्पेंडिंग ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर व्हाट यू कैन से द ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस ईयर वी विल स्पेंड ऑन सम अदर प्रोजेक्ट एंड नेक्स्ट ईयर ऑनवर्ड्स वी विल गो फॉर इट सो गवर्नमेंट कैन डू इट बट इफ गवर्नमेंट कीप चेंजिंग व्हाट यू कैन से देयर एक्सपेंडिचर प्रायोरिटी then what happens ki this may create a negative impression to the outer world so that is why normally government tries to keep their capital expenditure intact instead of that they will compromise in the revenue expenditure rather than compromising in the capital expenditure but government can do it government has a what you can say the authority to do it but whenever they do it they have to what you can say take a approval of the parliament because budget is passed by the parliament So if Parliament approves, they can do it. Any other doubt? 